As publishers grew their websites significantly, it quickly became extremely time-consuming for both advertisers and publishers to engage manually in direct deals. That issue gave rise to ad networks. Think of ad networks as the middlemen between publishers and advertisers. An ad network's key function is to aggregate the ad space supply from publishers, and match it with advertiser demand. With this technology, advertisers do not have to prepare and circulate RFPs, review proposals, negotiate with publishers, or agree on banner specifications anymore. What advertisers do instead is simply creating their campaigns on the ad network. So basically they upload their banners to the ad network, set their campaign targeting settings, and the ad network takes care of the rest. Ad networks also provide a way for advertisers to coordinate ad campaigns across hundreds or even thousands of websites in a very efficient manner, by reducing the operational cost of constantly having to find publishers, and directly negotiating with them. Therefore, they link advertisers and publishers that perhaps would never connect otherwise. Nowadays, there are hundreds of ad networks available in the online world. The biggest ad network is the Google Display Network. Most of the ads you see on the web, and all the ads you see on YouTube are served through the Google Display Network. Some other popular networks are, the Exponential, OpenX, the Facebook Audience Network, Amazon Publisher Services, Verizon Media, Index Exchange, and 33 Across. Ad networks typically offer two different platforms to their clients, one that is designed for advertisers, and another one designed for publishers. For example, when it comes to Google's network, advertisers use the Google Ads platform to build and manage advertising campaigns. In contrast, publishers use the Google AdSense platform to create ad spaces on their websites and sell them. However, given that there are hundreds of ad networks available, and that each network has a unique portfolio of publisher websites, this approach of buying media became very inefficient. More specifically, advertisers who want to show adverts to more publisher websites would have to create and manage campaigns on additional platforms. In other words, advertisers using the Google Ads platform could only show adverts to publishers using the Google AdSense platform. If those advertisers wanted to show adverts to the OpenX ad network, they would have to create new campaigns from scratch within the OpenX platform. Obviously, this situation is not ideal, as it creates duplicate work for advertisers, just for the sake of showing ads on more networks. The last main inefficiency of using multiple ad networks is that an advertiser could reach the same audience more than once, being unable to control how many times the advert could appear to the same user. It goes without saying that showing more adverts to users than necessary could result in spending more money for no substantial benefit.